Okay, so now let's talk about the defensive side of things. So now uh, Daniel's going to have possession of the puck. I'll act as a defensive player, and he'll act as the offensive player. Um, his focus as well, just like before, he's focusing on separation, trying to create some space for himself, some breathing room. And, and my focus is now going to be the exact opposite. On defense, I'm going to focus on closing the gap as much as I can. If I am five or six strides away from Daniel, as a AAA player, I would need to take five or six strides to get on him fast, poke check him, take a piece of the body, and try to close that gap. A lot of players might do something like this, where let's say Daniel makes a nice move, finds himself making, uh, he's separated from me, and now instead of attacking with four strides to get to him, I take one or two, and then I glide. And if I take a glide up to him, that gives Daniel time, and it gives Daniel space uh, to make a move, to think about what his move is. So it's all about suffocating him. If in AAA, as soon as you get possession of the puck, you shouldn't even be able to breathe before someone has already forechecked you and is already on top of you and making it really difficult uh, for you to even breathe, let alone find space, make a move. And this is why we love hockey so much. It's such a fast game. Uh, so we're going to focus on him using as much speed as he can, taking more strides than not. He can use his agility to find that open space. My objective, close that gap, shut him down, get stick on stick when I get in close, and then body on body. Um, uh, for a little bit of a body check as well too.